Hi everyone and welcome to my channel, where I review and analyze the adaptation of Cassandra Clare's The Mortal Instruments into the TV series Shadowhunters, which aired on Freeform from 2016 to 2019. In this video, I will be talking about the challenges and the choices of adapting a complex and rich literary universe into a limited and confined space of a television series. I will also be discussing some of the storylines that were omitted or changed in the TV series and how they affected the characters and the plot. Before I start, I want to warn you that this video will contain spoilers, so if you haven't read the books or watched the show yet, please do so before continuing. And if you like this video, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Now, let's get into it. The Mortal Instruments is a series of six young adult novels by Cassandra Clare, which follows the adventures of Clary Frey, a teenage girl who discovers that she is a shadow hunter, a human angel hybrid who hunts demons and protects the world from evil. Along with her friends, Jace, Alec, Isabel, Simon, and Magnus, she gets involved in a war against Valentine Morgenstern, a rogue shadow hunter who wants to create a new world order, and his son Jonathan, who has a dark and twisted connection to Clary. The books are full of action, romance, drama, humor, and mythology, and they have a huge fan base around the world. Shadow Hunters is a TV series that was based on the moral instruments, but it also incorporated elements from Claire's other Shadow Hunter novels, such as The Infernal Devices, The Dark Artifices, and The Bane Chronicles. The show was created by Ed Dechter and produced by Constantin Film, and it starred Catherine McNamara as Clary, Dominic Sherwood as Jace, Alberta Rosend as Simon, Matthew Daddario as Alec, Emerald Tubia as Isabel, Harry Shum Jr. as Magnus, Isaiah Mustafa as Luke, and Alan Van Spring as Valentine. The show ran for three seasons, with a total of 55 episodes, and it ended with a two-hour finale in May 2019. Adapting a vast and intricate literary universe like Cassandra Clare's The Mortal Instruments into the confined space of a television series is undeniably challenging. Shadowhunters, in its commendable effort to translate the epic highs and lows of Clare's young adult novels to the screen, faced the inevitable dilemma of having to condense six extensive novels into three seasons. This task, although well executed in many aspects, inevitably led to the omission of certain storylines, leaving fans yearning for narratives that never unfolded on small screen. The cancellation of Shadowhunters deprived audiences of witnessing some of the lesser explored but crucial plot arcs from the mortal instruments. The intricacies of adapting a literary work extend beyond the boundaries of a TV series, and despite the show's dedication to capturing the essence of Claire's narrative, some storylines remained buried within the pages of the original books. Season 4, had it materialized, could have been the canvas for exploring these untouched tales and delving into the uncharted territories of Claire's Shadowhunter universe. One significant deviation lies in the portrayal of Jonathan's descent into darkness. While Shadowhunters did depict this transformation, the series opted for a swifter narrative, compressing the complexity that Claire meticulously wove into her books. In particular, the relationship between Jonathan and the Seelie Queen, a nuanced and prolonged connection in the novels, received a truncated representation on screen. The showrunners themselves acknowledged this narrative shortcut, expressing a desire to delve deeper into the intricate dynamics between Jonathan and the Seelie Queen had the series been granted another season. As reported by Entertainment Weekly One, a potential season four could have unraveled the layers of their relationship, revealing the multifaceted aspects of both its sexual and strategic dimensions. The success of Shadowhunters in bringing to life pivotal elements, such as Clary and Jace's intricate relationship, the malevolent rise of Valentine and Jonathan, and the grand clash between the Shadowhunters and Jonathan's demonic forces, is undeniable. However, the unexplored storylines, seemingly minor on the surface, have the potential to significantly enrich the narrative tapestry. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed my analysis of the adaptation of Cassandra Clare's The Mortal Instruments into the TV series Shadowhunters. What did you think of the show? Did you like the changes or not? Do you have any theories or wishes for season 4? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to hit the like button, share this video, and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.